everyone I am still on the island of Rügen it's my second day on the island and after yesterday's hike to the chalk cliffs of Yasmun National Park today I want to photograph the port of Lome <music> Loma is a little port town on the eastern part of Rügen to the north of Yasmun National Park. Initially, I wanted to visit and photograph the chalk cliffs in the national park, but due to the danger of the falling cliffs, many viewpoints were closed and I didn't have enough space for creativity. So I decided to take a walk in the area and the port of Loma seemed to be a nice place to start my discovery. Since most visitors were in the national park, the port was quiet. I found the place inspiring and I had plenty of time to walk around and enjoy the view. For my first composition I want to photograph this branch standing out of the sea. It's curious how it sticks out of the water as if it was part of a larger tree. I used a long exposure to smooth out the ripples on the water and I zoomed in to 240 mm to exclude the other branches. I'm excluding the sky from my image and I use the harsh midday light to contrast the branch against the water. I love the texture of the smooth water, a blank canvas where the solitary survivor in the sea is well emphasized. A hundred meters away from the port of Lome, an interesting stone can be found. It is called Schwanenstein and the geologists call it an erratic. An erratic is a wanderer stone and this particular stone is coming from the island of Borgum, located in the south of Sweden. Its volume is 60 cubic meter and its weight is 162 tons. If you take a closer look you will see a fissure in the stone and scientists say that in time the stone will disintegrate. The sun is going down but the rock still has some light on it and the horizon is catching a purple glow. I use the boulders in my, as my foreground and the shore is taking an S-curve pointing directly towards the stone. So the shape of the shore will be my leading line. This is the original crop I took the picture. The color of the stone is fantastic. In post-processing I only raised the saturation of the warm colors a little to make the stone pop more in the image. I also love the texture of the stones in the foreground. Now I realized that the foreground might be a little distracting so I did another version of the image where I cropped it to a 16 by 9 ratio and I darkened the foreground a little bit. In this version the foreground seems to be less distracting, however I lose the beautiful texture of the stones on the beach. I think I still like the image with the original crop more, with the massive stones in the foreground. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below which version you like. The shape of the stone dam caught my eye during the day and I went back for sunset hoping to get some nice colors on it. As I was approaching the location I saw that the sun was still not hidden by the high shore and realized that the place worked very well as a sunset location. 
The dam has a golden glow on it and the horizon has a pinkish hue. I use a 6 top ND filter to slow the shutter speed and a hard edge graduated filter to darken the sky. My settings are ISO 64 F8, 4 seconds shutter speed. I love the shape of the stones standing out of the sea and the delicate colors of the sunset. If you like this video, click on the thumbs up button and consider subscribing. See you next time. Bye! Goodbye Lome! Goodbye Rügen! Tschüss!